In this Photoshop text effect video, I'm going to show you how to make Chrome text just like this. To create our Chrome text effect, we want to start with a brand new palette and we're going to add some text. Now in this case, I've added some scripty looking text here and it is actually best with the Chrome effect if the text isn't overly thick, like a very thick, bold Helvetica, something like that. It actually works better when it's a, you know, a nice thin font such as this here. Now, what you're going to need to do to be able to create a Chrome effect is it's going to require a lot of different layer stylings and uh, bevels and things like that. But we've put together an action so that you can actually do this very quickly and easily. And the action is actually just called Chrome. And all you have to do is press the button here and you can see it's going to ask you to continue. And it's actually just going to go through the process of creating all the different layers and putting everything together for you. And in just a few seconds, you can see we've got our Chrome effect here. And it actually looks really, really good. Now, when we showed you the example at the beginning, you'll remember there was a nice background behind our text. And I'm going to show you how to add that. It actually comes from our stock photo collection. Okay, and you can see the image right here. So we're just going to take that and we're going to bring it back into Photoshop. We're going to drop it into the background here and we're going to resize it to fit our background and then hit return. Now you'll remember with this image at the beginning there was a nice blur that really helped our text to pop out. So what we're going to do is we're going to come up to the filter section here. We're going to come down to blur and we're going to go to tilt shift and this is going to open up our blur tool here and you can see we've got these lines here and you can see the top here is blurred and the bottom is blurred and what we did was we changed this up a little bit. So we brought this down here so that the bottom of our road was nice and crisp. And then we brought this down so that we get a nice blur behind where the text is. And we also brought the text up afterwards too. And then once we're happy with our blur behind our text here, all we have to do is hit OK. That'll bring us back to our main window here. And then we actually had moved our Chrome text up a little bit. And so there you go, our text pops out of the background there because of that nice blur. And of course you can adjust this to your personal taste. That's how you create the chrome text effect and a nice blurred image background. Now as I mentioned in the video, we used an action for Photoshop. We've actually got a collection of 15 Photoshop text actions that you can download right now, completely free of charge, along with some fun fonts that you can use with all of these actions. Simply click the button to begin the download process right away. Walking down the sidewalk, kicking my feet as I'm moving to the music. Step to the beat, I woke up today, canceled all my plans, and I stepped right outside with my guitar in my hands. And the notes became a loud as a sound, caressed the air, and I kicked it up a notch as I strolled without a care, cause I'm going.